Hey guys, today we're just going to be uh, looking at my Gundam collection that I recently decided to put up and display. Uh, it's not like a review or anything, it's just obviously a collection update. Uh, I'm going to be posting this on my uh, Scare Destroy channel and my Goofmaster79 channel, which is my Gundam review channel. Um, so you can check it out, you know, either place. So, uh, basically, since I moved, uh, I haven't had a chance to put up, you know, like any of my stuff pretty much. You know, you can see the room is pretty much empty. I mean, I don't have any space for uh, shelves, uh, you know, s put out yet. I mean, I can put them in the other rooms, but uh, uh, I have another room picked out, which is kind of the guest bedroom picked out for my uh, uh, Star Wars kind of stuff. So, I figured uh, since this is probably the smallest of my collections, I guess you could say, uh, besides like Sentai and Power Ranger stuff, uh, I figured I'd, I'd just put it in here, um, even though this one shelf isn't enough to actually fit all my Gundams and stuff on, uh, but I mean it's good enough, so, because I actually have a lot left over, uh, but I'm not too concerned. So, basically it's all on this one shelf here, and I have it separated into a number of different uh, sections here. So, uh, start off with the bottom shelf here. Bottom shelf here is just uh, extra vehicles. Uh, it's uh, stupid. Anyway, uh, it's just uh, American release Gallup. Uh, there's an American and a Japanese uh, release Big Row. I think uh, that one's the American and that one's the Japanese. I forget which which it goes. American and Japanese uh, white base. And then, I think there are two G fighters. Kind of hard to see. I know the lights kind of dim because it's nighttime here. So, uh -huh. next up, next shelf up. Anyway, I move the light down here. Got this lamp going over here. See if I can't get it to kind of yeah, it's a little bit better. Uh, this is my wing Gundam shelf, or Gundam wing shelf rather. Uh, this is all the ones that I have. Uh, I don't have Wing Gundam. I was just never really into uh, a whole lot. But, you know, nevertheless, still, I collected a number of the figures. Uh, this is just, you know, the basics anyway. So, uh, we'll start off here. This is uh, Gundam Death Scythe Hell. Or maybe it's just uh, Death Scythe. Yeah, this is Death, Death Scythe Custom. Sorry, it's a mouthful. Uh, there's the Transforming Epion. Uh, there's the regular Epion, uh, there's two purple Leos, there's a green Leo back there, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see him back there. Uh, s version 2 Sandrock, uh, Nataku Gundam, I think that's how you say it, I think. Uh, Ultron Gundam, I think, yeah, Ultron Gundam. I don't know the names too well of these ones, because, you know, I'm, I'm not really into it. Uh, gold, uh, gold variant. Uh, first version, uh, Sandrock Gundam, same thing, gold version, heavy arms, uh, Shenlong Gundam, yellow version, uh, Death Scythe, and Wing Gundam, or Gundam Wing, rather. Wait, I was saying that wrong, this is Gundam Shanrock, uh, Shanrock, <laughs> Shanrock, anyway, Gundam Sandrock, Gundam Heavy Arms, Gundam Shenlong, Gundam Death Scythe, uh, Gundam Wing. Uh, I was saying it in the G Gundam form. But anyway, uh, there's the Magunak uh, suits back there, the three. Uh, these, this back row back here is all the Battle Scarred ones. There's uh, Heavy Arms Custom, Death Scythe Hell Custom, uh, Nataku Wing Zero Custom, and uh, Sandrock Custom. They also have the version 2 of the Heavy Arms. Uh, Transforming Wing Gundam, right there. Uh, then Transforming Wing Gundam, but just in the regular uh, robot or Gundam form, rather. And that's pretty much it for the wing shelf. Uh, so yeah, um, fly. Anyway, here's the G Gundam shelf. Uh, I have a bunch more of these uh, G Gundam figures, but uh, I don't really have enough room to put them all on display. These are just the best ones, I think. Uh, 
First of all, we have the anyone. First of all, any of the ones that have panel lining on them, like this one, you can see there's like panel lining. Um, you know, this one, you can see there's panel lining. That one back there, you can see the panel line like that. If it has panel lining, that means it's the Japanese version. So back here we have the Grand Gundam, the three uh, DG cell Gundams, Naros, Noble, and uh, Royal uh, Master Gundam. Toro Gundam, I think, Viking, Azura, and then back there, can't really see, but Royal's back there, uh, Zebra Gundam, Jester Gundam, Walter, uh, Dark, Dark Army, uh, Man, I forget, Mandor Gundam, I think, and then there's three of the Hyper Mode of Rose, Bolt, and Maxter, and that's the Toy Fair exclusive uh, Shining Gundam which you could only get through the magazine. Uh, here's Shining Gundam in full open mode. And then behind him is the Japanese release of Shining Gundam in just regular mode. Here's the Japanese uh, Burning Gundam, uh, 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 Rising Gundam, Battle Scarred, Shining Gundam, Battle Scarred Bolt, uh, Shadow Gundam, uh, Hurricane, Battle Scarred Maxer, Mermaid, Grizzly, Scimitar, you basically get the point. So, yeah. I think I covered them all. I probably forgot one. Oh, Cobra, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty cool, I guess. I'm looking for a Raven Gundam so I can uh, complete my Grand Master one because I have all the pieces to make one, except for obviously Raven Gundam. But, so if anyone has a Raven Gundam that they'd like to sell or trade or anything, let me know and I'm sure I could make a deal with you. Up here we have my Federation suits. Let me get the light. Sort of up here. Okay. Now this one is the neatest organized of all of them. Uh, first up we have one, two, four, five, six balls. Uh, yeah, balls. Anyway, uh, so there's one, two, three Japanese and three American release. These two are the American. And then that one's American, and then these three in the back are Japanese. Two core fighters, one Japanese, one American. Uh, core jet fighter uh, from the 0080 series, or not, yeah, or 8th MS team, really. Hover trucks, um, core fighters, and stuff like that from uh, 83 Stardust Memory and the original series. G fighter. Uh, the regular, you know, version. Back here I have two gun tanks, a uh, number of GMs. This one's missing his head because I'm working on a custom to make it look like uh, uh, the cu uh, the uh, GM head from 0080 Warren Pocket. Uh, so I'm making a head for him at the moment so he's kind of headless for the time being. Uh, three different gun cannons. This is the Japanese one where it's not numbered. Uh, 109 and 108. Um... Alex Gundam with and without armor, battle scarred, or, or yeah, RGM 79 ground type Gundam, uh, RX 79 ground type Gundam, or yeah, I said RG, I said meant RX. Sorry, I'm just kind of babbling, but uh, yeah. So here is uh, EZ8 battle scarred, uh, RX 79G battle scarred, desert version. Uh, GM head version, GM sniper, and then two Easy Eights. One of them, this one's the Japanese version. Uh, that Battle Scarred Arc 78, uh, full armor Gundam, and two G3s. Uh, real type. I'm also looking for the real type gun cannon and real type gun tank. So if any of you guys have one and like to trade, you know, contact me, whatever. Up front here we have Japanese uh, Arc 782, obviously. Uh, this is the newest version, um, not EMSIA, the version 2. Uh, here's the version 2, but American release. Uh, Japanese release of the first version of the Gundam. Uh, American release of the version 2 uh, deluxe set. Okay, this is the deluxe one, and then this is the deluxe one, American release. And then this is the original release, uh, American version. So, yeah, it's kind of confusing. So, yeah.
Okay, I'm going to stop now for part two uh, on my Ghostmaster79 account. This is going to stop and uh, you'll I'll resume in part two, but for my uh, Scourge Destroy account, it'll just continue. So.